What is going on everybody? This is Kev the Barber with another classic and you are sitting at the barber's table. Yes, I know, my voice has gotten deep as all hell. Yes, I do know who Barry White is. No, I will not be doing radio. No, I am not going through my second wave of puberty. Um, sounds crazy for me to address these things, but this is the few things I've been seeing and have been told. Um, not to get any like too serious on y'all, but my vocal cords have gotten damaged due to the autoimmune disease that most of you know that I have. Same goes for the weight gain. Won't be spending too much time on that, but here I'm simply just cutting the top of the hair. Um, use the middle as the guideline and then go to the sides and even it out. After cutting the desired length on the top, I come down to the sides and just kind of blend it down first so I don't have to cut too much into too much bulk. It's just taking out bulk. Using my Sterling 4s and then boom, <laughs> they got stuck. So I had to take out my magic clips and use a number three, I believe this is and just ride the side of the head. And this is how we start our shape. Here I'm taking out my one and a half guard with the lever halfway. And if you've noticed in a lot of my videos, I use lines and fade up. Here I'm just fading downwards. And it's because of this fade, I wanted to keep it really soft and natural. And with fading down, you can really keep that consistent, allow for lightness to be controlled. Here I'm using the one and a half, one guard with the lever open, making sure I'm combing in between to knock out hairs. But overall, you can really see that the haircut is not finished, but the look, but the look is complete. Here I'm using my half guard, just faded down from the two down to the half. This is my base right here. I could have taken out, taken off the half guard and faded, but I like the way this looks. You see how soft that looks? That's the look I was really going for. To keep that soft look consistent, I'm gonna be doing a sheer over, sheer over comb work instead of clipper over comb. Clipper over comb typically promotes more of a straight look, a straight boxy look. Um, here I get to curve into the hair. You can do that with clipper over comb as well, but easier for me to be doing it with this. That's why techniques like this is so easy. It's really easy to blend into bulk. I can just go up with it too and not worry about what happens above that because my shear over comb is definitely gonna take that out. For those of you who don't know, I have a segment on this channel called The Barber's Journey. Dating back to when I started cutting hair when I was back in about, what, college? Going through cosmetology school and now to working in a shop. The goal of that entire series was to help people who were apprehensive or scared about getting to the industry and really help them see my journey. I'm really sharing myself with you guys to really show you you can make money, you are worth it, there is value within you. But that journey, has been put on a halt because my camera has had issues. I'm saving up for more, saving up for another camera. For those who want to help me in that endeavor, there is a PayPal account down below. Any amount counts. Appreciate you guys for sharing and commenting and letting me know that what's impacting you guys and that you believe in yourself and want to get into this industry because of the videos that I'm making. And uh, if you want to see more of that, I would really love a donation, really love some support. Appreciate you guys. 
won't be doing his beard today. He just asked for a haircut. And um, so this is in the shop that I'm working at now, for those who don't know him, in Teaneck, New Jersey, Mr. Fresh Cut. MrFreshCut.com, you can make an appointment with us. Kev Thaw is my booking name. Um, here we're just using the bevel. And this one great thing about the bevel, those edges that come out, you can really go around the ear easily. I don't even have to really push it out the way because that arm, <laughs> that, that, that wingspan is crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, I just doing some finishing touches. Um, I'm sorry about my hand being in the way. It's really annoying because the way I'm using a, a, a mono monopod, I'm using a gorilla pod on the desk. It's not a tripod that can go above my shoulder and you can see better views. You know, so I have to really adjust. And the more videos I make here, the better the, the videos will be. So hopefully, you guys saw some good angles. And the whole time I faded basically with a wall magic clip. If you guys, um, any of you guys use the, the Wall 1919s or the Wall Seniors, let me know what you guys think of the difference between those in the comment section below. I'm very interested. These bevels really do the job, man. It's like short stubble hair, long, it really doesn't matter. It just cuts right through them. This is the only thing I've been using lately. I might get a second pair. I'm not even gonna lie to you, but I also want to try the Andis cordless one, so we'll see what happens. watch this far you're the dopest thank you guys i appreciate all the love like comment and subscribe if you have not already and do not forget to check the description below for the paypal account appreciate it again any video ideas too please just drop them below i've definitely been recording so expect a lot more from this channel and i'm not just blowing smoke i'm not i'm telling you we're gonna be here all right